inside the kickoff now between the Palace and the Oxford supporters. Yo my people, we're back again for our first away vlog this season. We are away to Oxford United in the second round of the EFL Cup. It is our first proper away day of the season for getting the QPR run. That was pre-season and that, so yeah, we're kicking it off with a trip up to Oxford. We're going to be driving up there as well, so yeah, it'll be a good journey. Up there, fingers crossed. I expect nothing but a Palace win and us moving on to the third round of the EFL Cup. We should be beating teams like Oxford United, who are currently in League 1. 90 from the table, the first five games of this campaign in League 1. They've lost two, drawn two and won one, so yeah, not really the best form, but 50-50 form and that as well, so they're lacking a bit of consistency. You can say the same for us, even though we've had a difficult start to the Premier League campaign, despite us getting our first win at the weekend against Aston Villa. So it was a very optimistic and positive performance and a brilliant win for the boys in red and blue. I expect Vieira to go with a mix of first-team players and young players, introducing the likes of Luke Plange, Ebi Obi, Chris Richards as well, probably making his first full debut for Crystal Palace and that. He's made a couple appearances coming on as a substitute against Liverpool against Villa with our recent two Premier League games so yeah it'll be nice to see him start today as well I'm not sure he's going to go with Mateta or Edouard up front we'll have to wait and see probably Edouard as Mateta may play on Saturday against Manchester City after scoring at the weekend superbly after coming on and making an impact as a substitute against Aston Villa so yeah we're going to have to wait and see but it's going to be a good one I'm going to go with a 3-0 win to Crystal Palace that is my score prediction very positive going into this game like I said I expect nothing but a Palace win come on you Palace <laughs> Richards and Klein, Will Hughes, Lucas the captain by the way, Phillips Elise and Edward and Mateta, Eze, Ayo and Abiel and a few others on the bench. So it's a decent team, knows the harm of the score, which I'm not which I'm happy about, sort of. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll win. I, I still think we're gonna win three though. What's your prediction? Um uh, yeah, I think I think 3-1 Palace. 3-1 Palace, fair enough. Come with your boys. Pieces again, nearly caught us out there. Edward, rubbish, we're trying to go to the Should have scored three header, should have buried that. A poor miss. Rubbish. Two minutes added on. We've been playing really poor. Oxford had a shot a couple of minutes ago, by the way. Saved by Sam Johnson pretty well. First save he's had to make of this season and in this game and that. And it's such a... That's not even a foul referee. Come on, man. The referee's been awful, it's not even giving us anything. I mean, we're, strugg we're struggling to defend against Oxford, so, you know, it's just it's not going well for us at all. It's got to bring Eze and Aya on at half time. Oxford are up for it, we're not, and it's really obvious, trust me, it's not good enough. Half time, Oxford United nil, Christian Palace nil. Half time, nil and nil. Dad, three words to describe that first half. Three words? I'll yeah. give it in one, rubbish. I mean, really. Really poor, to be honest with you. It didn't create much. Um, you know, it's been quite even. Everything. I think um, Oxford had the better chances, but they're just not 
We need to get some stuff. Lack a bit of quality, don't we? Yeah, lacks some quality. And products like the you know. Um, at least say they don't. Get, they're not giving him the they're ball. They're doubling up on him. He's struggling yeah, I mean, to get got, past them. He's got them, two on him, so yeah, yeah. you know. But um, Eduardo had a great chance to score on him. He He's had a nightmare, it. Eduardo. Just free header. Yeah, who would you bring on a half time? For me, Eze and I. Here, Eze, yeah, are you and Eze? Yeah, got a lot to wake up on in the second half. He's got to get into the half time, I hope. If that wasn't good enough, we're better than that. Even without the hard energy in the side. Come on, Palace, man. Wake up. Hopefully, Eze gave him a kick up the backside because he sent them out early. Come on, Michael. Show us a bit of your magic, man. Okay, maybe not. Awful pass from Phillips there. No, better bit of movement though. Phillips off. On comes. I think that's Schlepp number 15, yeah. It's on the bench, I remember now. I mean, he looked lost. He didn't have the best game, but he gave it his all, I suppose. So, well done, man. The corner! Good with the corner here, good delivery needed, come on. Referee, oh! Ah, oh. rubbish Edouard, come on man. Hey! Corner! So obvious that one, referee, I can see that from a mile away, come on. Oh, just over, Ron is coming off, one comes to Mitchell, Eze is coming on. I think it's Eze, I can't even tell from now, I'll be honest with you lot. Eze for Mateta. Go no, get that. Maybe say we leave the city, but I'm, I would have kept, I would have taken Edward off. They kept Mateta on. I won't lie to you, Mateta was already on the yellow card, didn't commit the city card to get himself sent off. And he fouled, he did a minor foul nice. just before he got substituted as well, so I can understand. Yeah, come on, Rickle, he's pulling his shirt out! Oh my word. A nightmare of a night for Palace, I'll, I'll just say that. Yeah! Come on! Edward has scored! It's worth of the season! Come on! Come on! Come on, Palace! Start time! Just hold on and go for the second, you know. Palace man, it's hold on, it's Oxford United, not Leeds United or Flippin Man United, come on. That's a foul on Obi Obi there. Come on, let's get the second yellow round, send them off. Come on, Luca. Penalty to Palace, are you sure being balls? Yeah. I'm sure he's on the yellow. I'm sure he's on the yellow, Come on. I'm sure he's on yeah. the yellow so he's got Half of Oxford there. players are on the yellow. Come on. Come on, referee. Come on, just get your first goal in over a year, Luca. Oh. Yeah. Game over 2-0. I think we can all go home now happy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Take it three. Come on, get the first. Get them in the mud. Oh. Maybe not. So this is the morning on from the Oxford game. We got back pretty late, quarter to one in the morning, and we parked in the car park, the overthrow car park outside Oxford Stadium and that. And we were there waiting for about an hour. We weren't even moving for half an hour. And then with 20 minutes to go, we moved around a bit. It was hectic. I mean, if you're going to have a car park, make sure it's easy for people to get out, let alone getting in and that, you know, because honestly, I mean, it was absolutely manic afterwards. But a good result, a good win. 
it took a while for us to get into the game, but yeah, you know, we took our chances second off. Edouard took is pretty good. You know, one on one, he's expected to score that against the league one side. Luca penalty killed the game off. Overall, I'd probably give it a 6.5 out of 10 performance. It weren't great, but yeah, I mean, we had some good spells. But, you know, we, we should be being Oxford United, as expected. Or at game, you know, it was a good away day, I suppose. First time going to Oxford, the ground, probably I'd give her probably a 6 out of 10 as well. You know, but yeah, I enjoyed it. The Palace fans are brilliant. And, you know, we move on to Manchester City this weekend, you know. So hopefully we go there and win, fingers crossed. So, yeah, up the Palace, good result. We move on to the third round of the League Cup. And we'll see you lot in my next video. Don't go change it. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on my socials. Link in the description down below. See you lot in my next video. Like I said, in a bit. Come on, you boys.